Sorry, you know, you got a new project out, The Underdogs, which is number one on Prime Video today. Congratulations, by the way. What was it about this character and script that made you want to be a part of it? What I was going through at that time, it really related to, like, my life really related to the character. So it was like, oh, yeah, it's like I could tell my story, but through screen, like, through a different person. So it's basically, like, me telling my view on my story but through a whole different character mm. life imitating art and you know and the film snoop's character becomes this mentor to the team who were the people in your own life who have shaped the actor that you are today first i want to say my mom my manager my siblings of course because all of them you know all of them they're role models to me all of them they they push me to become an actor. So they push me to be able to get these roles. And I think what's so great about this film in particular is that you get to show off your comedic chops as well as those more heartfelt moments when your character is opening up to Snoop's character about his family life. Does comedy or drama come more naturally to you? I would say comedy because I'm a, I'm a really funny person. Like personally, like every day I make my siblings laugh. Like I make my parents laugh. Like I'm a very funny person. So I would say comedy comes first, you know. You really have to show that off in this film. And there's such a great chemistry that comes off the screen between the entire team. And they bicker and fight like family, but they always have each other's back. How were you able to build that bond with your fellow castmates? And do you have a favorite behind the scenes moment? Um, Behind the scenes moment, I say my favorite had to be the rap battles. Because all of us, we will rap battle Snoop, even though like we'll lose, but... Yeah, you know, we'll rap battle him. And then how we just built a relationship, it was just like, since we have to see each other every day, it's like we just grown closer as a family. And even like outside of filming, we all meet up, go out to eat, go have fun, something like that. You know, we just grown closer as a family. And speaking of Snoop, you're getting to star opposite so many legends in this film between Snoop, Tika, and Mike. What was it like getting to work with each of them? And did you learn anything about your own craft? Sorry, opposite them. Working with them, it, it was a blast. Like, it was fun. It was so fun. But, like, when it was time to work, we really got to work. We really got it done. And some things I learned from them was, like, work hard always because working hard going to take you, like, very far. And being around big people like Mike Epps, Snoop, and Tika, it just, it just taught me how to, like, stay focused. Like, you can have fun sometimes, but mainly stay focused and get the work done while having fun at the same time. This is one of your biggest projects to date. When you look back at this experience, what will you remember most and what was the biggest takeaway? Okay, so this is my biggest one so far, you know. So, like, the main thing I remember is, like, being around Snoop Dogg, being around the cast, being around, like, all these big, important people, and also how to connect with my kids. Like, mm -hmm. also how to take my life stories and put it with the character stories and then just make it one big life story, but out of a whole different character. So it kind of just taught me how to really get into character, like, with your mindset and then, like, really just act it out and do your best. Yeah. You're such a steel scener in this movie. Is there a particular scene that you were really excited for audiences to see now that it's out on Prime Video? Yes, the main scene that I wanted people to see was the car scene when I was in there with Snoop. Mm -hmm. And then when we was talking, we was just talking about where we came from, what we grew up at, like that. And like, because I didn't want him to take me home. And when he yeah. took me home, it was like, it was cool because I didn't want people to know where I was from. And then all of that tied in me getting new shoes and then getting mm -hmm. my pick six when I ran into a touchdown. Like, all of that just tied in. And it was just, it was great. You have to show off your dramatic chops. The film's out now. It's been incredibly well received. What do you think is resonating most with audiences? And there's so many lessons that they can take away. What do you hope they learn from this film? I hope that they learn that even if like you get big one day, like super big, even if you grow, like your career grows, like never forget where you came from. Never forget about the people who raised you. Never forget about the people who got you to where you're at now because when you're at your worst, when you're at your lowest, that's the people that you're going to turn back to. And if mm. you do them wrong, then they're not going to be there for you. But just make sure you remember them 
So when you're down at your lowest and you come back, then they're going to be accepting of you and willing to help you. Beautiful answer. I got one final question for you. I feel like this project is going to open so many doors for you. When you look ahead to the next maybe five to 10 years, is there a dream role that you would love to bring to life on the screen? Yes, most definitely. I definitely want to be in an action movie. Like, I want to be in an action movie so bad. Like, I want to be like jumping over cars, like explosions, all of that, just like fighting. Cause I love action movies. I love comedy movies too. But I think action with like, that's what I want to do the most.